Hello everyone, I hope you all had a great week. This week's story is about how everybody is different than us, but also the same as us. We all look different, speak different and play different, but we're all valuable. And that's because in the beginning, God had the very good idea to make us this way. This is the story of God's idea and how you can be a part of it. God's very good idea. A true story about God's delightfully different family. In the beginning, in fact, before the beginning, God had a very good idea. It was an even better idea than solar panels, chocolate chip cookies, the super soaker, color TV, fireworks, roller skates, the life raft and the x-ray machines. God's idea was to make people, lots of people, lots of different people, who would all enjoy loving him and all enjoy loving each other. They would all be made in his image. They would all be like mirrors, reflecting what God is like. Because God is full of love, they would be full of love too. So God got to work. He made a beautiful world for people to live in. Then he made the first people, a man and a woman. And he said to them, be happy, enjoy loving me and loving each other. Have a huge family that will fill the earth and look after the earth and enjoy the earth. God carried on creating people. All of them were made in his image and all of them were different too. Some were men and some were women. Some liked reading and some liked riding bikes. Some had darker skin and some had lighter skin. Some had curly hair and some had straight hair. We live in God's world. We are all different, but we are also all the same. Everyone you see is different than you and the same as you. They might look different or speak different or play different, but they are all made in God's image and so they are all valuable. This is God's very good idea, but people ruined God's very good idea. The first people choose not to love God. This is called sin. And because they choose not to love God as they should, they forgot how to love each other as they should. We are the same. We choose not to love God and so we are not able to love each other like we should. We sin. Sometimes we treat others badly because they are different than us. People fight with each other. People are mean to each other. People laugh at each other. Because we have ruined God's very good idea, he is not pleased with us. Our sin means we can't be friends with him or enjoy living with him. We need God's forgiveness for ruining his very good idea. It's the same for everyone in the world. People who like reading need forgiveness and people who like riding bikes need forgiveness. People with darker skin need forgiveness and people with lighter skin need forgiveness. People with curly hair need forgiveness and people with straight hair need forgiveness. But God was not surprised by people ruining things. He had always had a very good plan to rescue his very good idea. So God got to work. He came to earth as a person. Jesus. Jesus loved people who were different than him. He loved people who no one else loved. He always enjoyed loving all the different people he met. Jesus shows us how to enjoy loving each other. But people didn't love Jesus. Instead, they hated him. They put him on a cross to die, but this was part of God's plan. On the cross, Jesus took our sins so that we can be forgiven. Jesus forgives his people for their sins. Jesus didn't stay dead. He rose back to life and then went back to live in heaven. And then he gave people his spirit to help them enjoy loving him and loving all the different people they knew. Jesus helps us to love each other. One day, God will finish his very good idea. Jesus will come back and make the world perfect again. And anyone who has asked Jesus to forgive them will live there with their different languages and skin colors. They will enjoy loving God and loving each other. They will enjoy praising God for making, rescuing and finishing his very good idea. But here's a very, very, very good part of God's very good idea. You don't have to wait till then to enjoy it. Jesus welcomes anyone who asks him to forgive them. And when Jesus welcomes someone, he welcomes them into his family forever. 
He welcomes people who like reading and people who like riding bikes. He welcomes people with darker skin and people with lighter skin. He welcomes people with curly hair and people with straight hair. God's family is called the church. Your church friends are your brothers and sisters, your wonderful and colourful church family. You can enjoy loving them and loving God with them. This is God's very good idea. Lots of different people enjoying loving him and loving each other. God made it. People ruined it. He rescued it. He will finish it. And with your church family, you can enjoy being part of it right now. For this week's activity, we would like you to send in a picture or a video of what you miss about Church or Trekkers or about what you're most looking forward to about for when we're able to meet again. Oh, 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 oh.
Jesus is